morning guys! Welcome back to Fatima and Ola Fashion Workshop. Today we would like to show you how to hem a wedding dress. As you see, we have our huge wedding dress here on the mannequin, on our dress form, and we're working with it. Uh, so I would like to show you details and step by step on how this whole procedure goes. It's a lot of responsibilities and takes a lot of expertise to be able to hem a wedding dress. It's the most important day and the pressure is very high. So you gotta be very careful when you work with a wedding dress. Uh, so here's the dress that we have here today. It has a huge train and up to five layers and the gorgeous lace detail on the back with all the cover buttons. We go all the way. All right, so the first step is before we go to the actual um, images that you, you see here today, it's the fitting. Fitting is the most important part of this process. The first step on the fitting is to let know the bride she has to bring in her shoes with her. Uh, the shoes are so important on deciding the desired length. So once we have the shoes, you gotta mark it down very correctly by telling her to stand straight, look in the mirror, and the first thing that we do with our customer, like the future bride, we take a closer look to her body, try to figure out the body type and what's wrong with the dress. Not all dresses fit okay, not everything goes right, and it doesn't look the way she wanted to, so we're here to fix that. So it's just not a hemming problem. But today we're focusing more on how to do the hem. So for this five layers, we got to start with the top layer after we marked and we have our own mark. So starting with the top layer, uh, you're going to lay it flat and put it on a um, nice and smooth surface. And every for every five inch of the dress, we have to measure carefully how short it has to be and mark it down. There's two ways of um, hemming a wedding dress. The first one is to hang it on a hanger, probably that comes all the way up from the ceiling because it's so long, and hem it there. But the best and the correct way to do it is putting the dress on a dress form. So we have a dress form here that is size four, which matches with the size of the bride, obviously, because when you have the dress on, which is now on the dress form, it complements the body shape and it fits differently than it is when it's hanging. So having the, the dress on a dress form is probably the correct way of how's it gonna look on the bride's body and that's that's the best and the, the most correct way to shorten it. So as, as I'm showing here, we're just measuring very carefully and then cutting through. We have to go all the way through the whole dress uh, we also ask our customer whether she wants the train to be longer, full length, half length, or just hem it straight, so the same length that it's on um, the front. So for this one, we are just hemming the same way all around the dress, and this is probably the easiest way because you don't have to calculate much. You know that it's, let's say, five inches shorter all the way around. Obviously, it's not as easy as it sounds, but definitely it's easier than when you have to do a different length on the back. So this means that we're going to keep the train the way it is, saving the shape, but eventually coming a little shorter as it came on front. So it's going to be around four to five inches shorter all around the dress. And that's what we do. We turn the mannequin sideways, just like that, and go one step at a time. So this is the top layer. We start with the top layer because it's easier to work with that. This is gonna be the final length. And usually there's three to four more other layers. But the second one, which is the liner, which can be double lined or triple lined sometimes and having extra tools and all that, it has to be at least half to one inch shorter. Obviously not too short because it's gonna show because the first layer is see-through but obviously not too long because if the top layer is shorter and the lining is longer, that looks awfully bad. And this is the common mistake that um, most people do just because it's so hard to, to keep track and to measure and to even it out and all that. 
So measuring is the key to everything. Make sure you double check, triple check and measure and just go slowly to each and every side of the dress because we have to make sure that it's the same amount that we took off all around the dress. Uh, because otherwise when you wear it, it looks awfully bad, like one side shorter, um, one side longer, or uneven. Do you know how many times we have those uneven dresses that look horrible? So the key is to just go slowly each and every time and go all the way around the dress. Today we're only showing you the top part. We probably make another video next, the next one after this one, to show you how we're gonna hem the the other parts of the dress and um, what techniques are we gonna use because they all have like different, it's a different material for the liner and the other um, layers on the bottom. And also we need to go by a different length and a different way of finish it up. And we also make sure that on the top layer that we're uh, shortening right now, we leave a few extra, um, centimeters, I would say, to be more precise and correct uh, for the hemming because when we stitch on the machine, it's eventually going to need a little bit of seam allowance so we can fold in the, the edge to have like a nice finish. So as you can see, we just still go slightly around, triple, double check to measure. And after we finish the top layer and the other layers, we're going to go back and hang it to the hanger that comes from the ceiling. Make sure that it looks nice. It's even out on every side. If not, just put it back on the mannequin. Measure once again to make sure that everything goes um, the way it should because it's eventually going to show and it's, it's so important. So here were a few tricks and tips that we shared today. We're definitely going to keep posting, going to keep posting more of how-to videos just to show you what are the techniques to use and what's an easier easier way to go and also um, a way that you can avoid making any possible mistakes. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't and see you on the next video. Thank you.